Oops, there we go. Hey, this is Amy from The Monshire, and today is all about sorting. Um, many of you know the seed sorting exhibit at the museum, and it's one of my favorites because I love to sort, um, but I also love watching what people do there. And we just, um, I get to see people so focused, so working so hard and so into sorting seeds. And I also love the conversations that people have there because they talk about the seeds and maybe if they've eaten the seeds or if they've planted the seeds. And so I'm gonna encourage you to do some sorting and you probably have the things around the house to sort with. I again, just use some things from my kitchen, mix them together into a little container. I found some tweezers. I didn't have great tweezers. And if you don't have great tweezers, you just wanna maybe use some bigger things, maybe not the real tiny seeds. I was actually wondering if those kid um, chopsticks might work. They, I didn't have a pair of them to try, but if anybody has any, um, give it a try and let us know if those are good for sorting. And, and then to collect in, I love ice cube trays are great. If you don't have an ice cube tray, an egg carton works great. Anything that has little holes that will hold lots of things make for a really nice collection. Now, if you don't have seeds, doesn't matter. There's a million other things in the world you can sort. And if you're like our house, we have all these little containers that we just throw things in. No rhyme or reason. Um, it just, we really don't know where to put them. So they go in little containers and someday someone will sort them out. But today it could be you. And when you sort, what's great about sorting, it's, it's actually a science skill because it lets you look for patterns. It lets you look for thing, how things are alike or different. And it makes you notice things. So maybe if I sorted these, maybe I'd do it by material first, or maybe I'd do it by shape or color or size, I don't know, but you could figure it out. And you've got a junk drawer probably at home. Your junk drawer has great stuff, or you have a sock drawer. And every week, a couple times a week maybe, depending on the size of your family, somebody is doing laundry, and somebody has to sort out the laundry. And it might be you. Take over that job, sort the socks. And if you're really stir crazy, I kind of made up a game. I haven't had a chance to play it yet, but I was thinking it might be kind of fun if a whole bunch of people in your house got socks, brought them all together, mixed them all up, and then you could take turns or all together, see how fast, have somebody time you, see how fast you can sort all your socks. Maybe you'll be able to find a missing pair that you was in the wrong person's drawer. Who knows? But right now, sort. Again, take pictures of the things you sort, toys, seeds, whatever you think of, and let us know what you did. All right, see you later.